Good morning everyone, Jason Howard here from Sunrise Marine in Mary Esther, Florida and today we're going to do a walkthrough of a Chaparral 227 SSX. One of the first things that we're going to start with is the swim platform and everything in the back. You'll tend to spend a lot of time back here. Um, this is what this type of boat is kind of designed for is this is more of an activity platform for putting wakeboards on, for getting ready, just hanging out in the water. And uh, a few things that you'll notice when you're looking at this boat is everything back here is designed for a purpose and has a pre-thought way of having it put there. So if we look like our cleats, the pull-up cleats back here in the back, so you're not hanging a bathing suit or hanging lines or anything back here, they're farthest out to the widest point of the swim platform. So when we're going to cross tie or we're going to tie up at a dock, we don't have lines going all the way across the back for people getting on and off the boat. Um, you'll also see that your stereo remote and your trim button actually has a dedicated place. You'll see these on boats, but sometimes it's an afterthought and it's a puck that kind of sticks out where this is, spot was designed just to put this here when they, when they designed the boat. Um, you'll also look at all the hardware on the back of the boat. Uh, everything on the back is big, beefy, stainless steel hardware. They're not really skimping anywhere on hardware. Everything is nice and huge. Um, you got your boarding ladder here, which tucked away. It's its own individual door. It's a nice three-step ladder. It goes down, really easy to get in and out of the boat. You got a handle up here at the top, and when you're done with it, it's hidden away. Like so. A few things that people sometimes don't notice when they're shopping are the little things like how thick the cushions are and things on the back of a chaparral. And take a tape measure out when you're shopping and look and see the thickness of the cushions. This is where you're going to lay out and you're going to hang out a lot and have that nice big thick cushion. It's just more comfortable for the day. Looking at the bottom of the boat, we've talked about an extended V-plane on other videos. Um, if we spend, we can't spend a whole lot of time on it because the video will just get real long. But what we'll have, you'll see that the motor is tucked up and the hole extends out farther. And what that does for you is it just gives you a longer running surface. So on this 22 foot boat, we're getting the maximum amount of running surface, which just gives us a faster plane time. You hold planes at a lower speed. Again, we've talked about it on other videos. Uh, you can go to Chaparral's website. It explains it a lot better, but this boat is equipped with extended V plane and there's a lot of advantages to that hull design. Another really big thing about this swim platform too, is that you'll see that it's integrated into the boat. It's not an add-on, it's not an aftermarket. And since it is integrated into the top cap and everything is clean down here on the bottom, it gives us the full width of the boat. When you have a bolt-on swim platform, a lot of times the swim platform will be a lot narrower than the boat itself. So when you're walking out to the edge, it might stop right here and you don't feel that. And it's just a way that you fall off the boat. But this is good, goes all the way to the outsides of the boat, which is really, really nice. All right, um, we're going to talk about some more stuff on the swim platform here. And there is a lot of stuff to talk about here. And again, in keeping the video at a decent length, uh, it's hard to talk about everything. But even like the dual fuel fills, when I was down there, I didn't talk about that. But you've actually got a fuel fill on either side. Now, they feed the same tank, so you don't have to worry about any of that. But what it gives you is when you're pulling up to, the, to your gas pumps, you don't have to worry about which side you get on. If you're getting gas at a marina, you don't have to make that decision of which way you're going to pull in. When you're at the marina, let's say that, you know, if your boat only had one fuel fill and there was only one way to get in, they've got to pull that big fuel hose all the way across your nice boat. Well, on the Chaparral, with having the, the dual fuel fills on it, we don't have to worry about that. We can just go ahead and pull up whichever way we want to. Um, back here in the back, you've got this big, massive sun pad back here in the back. And what they've done is they've, they've hinged this portion, which allows you a nice walkthrough. So it keeps you from walking across your sun pad. Um, it, that's going to be less wear and tear on your sun pad. And it's also, if somebody's been here and they've got suntan oil and it's slippery back here, you don't want them sliding up all over the back of the boat. Uh, so it's a nice, easy entry and exit in and out of the boat. And then over on this side of the sun pad, you can do a couple different things. You can lift it all the way up and that gives you access to your igloo cooler here. So we've got a built-in cooler. So now if we're hanging out on the back, we don't have to run back and forth into the boat to get the drinks out of our cooler. This whole tub does come out of here and it gives you access down into the bilge and some things down inside there. But then also we can flip this cushion up and we can make this into a nice little chaise lounge. So there's a lot of things you can do back here on the back. It's again, well thought out. And I think that's one of the big things about Chaparral is they don't really stop innovating. You can look at a lot of boats that are five model years old and they're in another manufacturer's lineup and it's pretty much the same boat. They might change colors, they might change some interior color, but with Chaparral, you'll always see them coming out with something new and they've done it long enough and been in business long enough and it's been the same company long enough 
that they know what works and they know what doesn't work. So then you come up with stuff like this. All right, moving into the uh, cockpit of the boat. You'll see seating all the way around, which is nice. You got nice U-shaped seating all the way around. And another little addition to detail is if when you're looking at a chaparral, you'll see all the major seams in this boat are all triple stitched. There's also a backing behind here that a guy at Chaparral did come up with. You'll very, very, very rarely see seam split in Chaparral interior, and it's a large part due to that backing that he puts inside there. Um, you've got handles all the way around. There's handles here, there's handles here, there's handles there. You've got cup holders all the way around. And then you've also going to have storage. Nice big deep storages underneath each one of these cushions. This one actually has the, your float pump already installed in there. So when you get to where you're going, you want to pump your float up, you're good to go. And everything has a nice tight snug fit. Another thing you don't typically hear on a chaparral is rattles. They're very, very, no rattles, no bangs. And everything has a nice tight fit and that's why. And that even moves up here to this bimini top which is connected to this arch. It's a very, very solid, even if you don't wakeboard, um, the, the arch tower gives you just as much shade just about as what a regular bimini top will, but what it gives you is it gives you something nice and solid, so this isn't rattling around all the time and making noise. Uh, for storage reasons, if you need to, you can pop these handles, pop the cover off of it, and this whole arch will go down to the same level as the windshield. So it's not a storage issue, um, it's really easy to do, it's counterbalanced. So when you're lifting it up, I can do it with one hand. Uh, there's a video of me doing an arch uh, on our website as well. And really it's just pop those handles and one hand down, one hand up. It's very simple. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the port seat. Uh, for one, you got storage underneath here. Uh, just a wet storage. It's a, it's a good place. If you wanted to use this as a trash, if you wanted to use this for snorkel gear, for dock lines, it's a nice little convenient storage to get to. And then what this seat also does is it will rotate forward. So now you could have bench seating all the way across here, but the main purpose of it is if you want to sit here and observe your skier, your wakeboarder, your tuber, you've got a nice back-facing seat to do that. All right, and then here at the helm, so we've got a, we've got a flip-up bolster seat. You'll see that on a lot of boats. It is nice to have. What is a little bit different about the Chaparral seats, and again, a company that's been around a long time that's been able to figure out what works and what doesn't work. A lot of people see this cut in the seat and they think it's just something that, okay, that's just the way they want it to look. But actually what this is for is, let's say you want to turn around and talk to somebody, you can just swing your leg around and your leg goes into that little cut right there without having to rotate the seat all the way around and without having to torque your back. Another thing you'll see is the cutout back here in the back. You know, this isn't just a looks thing. What this is is just to give you some ventilation. You've got big cushions, thick cushions, and you know when it's hot out there and you start sweating, this just gives you a lot of ventilation and it's a really, really comfortable seat. When you're sitting here, Everything falls into place where you want it to be. You've got your throttle right here, really easy to get to. You've got an armrest if you want to use it that way and put your elbow up on the armrest. The wheel is right here at your hands. It's also going to be equipped with tilt, so you can have a different position. And then up here on the dash, everything is illuminated for when you're out at night. Uh, this one has a Garmin 741 XS that's already flush mounted into it. So we've got our bottom machine, we've got our GPS with charts already loaded in. You've got another stereo remote here. So now we've got a stereo remote on the back, we've got a stereo remote here, and we've got a stereo remote over there. So three people can argue over what music you're gonna to listen to. And you've also got your 12 volt plug over here. So you can charge your cell phone, you can plug in your spotlight, is probably what it's gonna be used for more over here because you do have a charging station over on the, in the glove box, which would be a better place to charge your phone. All right, up here in the bow, we're gonna finish off. Again, big handles all the way around on both sides. So everywhere where someone's in a seated position, they've got some place to hold on to the boat. Uh, these speakers up here, cup holders up here. Again, storage up here in the front. And this is a good time to talk to you a little bit about the way the seats are made. Um, all the bases of all the seats are all a starboard material. So you don't have a wood base seating. Um, this is gonna hold up and last literally forever. And then you'll also see like little weep holes in the bottom of it. The reason that's there is you've got a layer of foam at the top and then you've got a flow foam at the bottom. What that flow foam does is allow any moisture that gets in there to come out and weep out the bottom of the boat so that way your cushions aren't always soggy. Okay, and uh, also in the front of this boat there is a front boarding ladder, which is something that for a long time was pretty much a deck boat thing, but now on a bow rider we've got a front boarding ladder. So during when the season gets you know a little bit later, you don't want to swim around to the back to get on the back of the boat, but you want to go to the beach and beach the boat, um, you can run your ladder out in the front so people can get in and out of the front. And since we have that ladder up there, they've thought about it and they've hidden the 
nav light up in the front. So when you got people getting on and off, they can pop that out of the way. Again, we've got our recessed cleats, so nobody's getting hurt as they're climbing in and off the front of the boat. Another thing that I didn't talk about throughout the whole boat is the depth. Um, it is a really, really, really deep boat. Um, if we were to sit in it, and I'm gonna sacrifice, get my butt a little wet, but it is a really deep boat. The cushions all come up really high on your back, so it's very, very comfortable. And again, with the thickness of these cushions compared to a lot of different boats, this is just a really comfortable seating position. Another nice little feature here, um, and you'll see this on boats, but you won't always see it as one big fiberglass piece. So this is made at the small parts plant at Chaparral, and it's nice because it's one big piece. So now when it's chilly out, or if you just want it to be quiet behind the windshield, um, you can close this down, close your windshield down, and now it's really, really quiet behind there, and there's no wind hitting you. It's, it's just, it's really, really comfortable. But I think the biggest difference, like I said, to show this is that how easy it's in and out. You'll see them on boats and sometimes they're bifold, um, so they rattle a lot and you've got to find a certain latch position to make it fit where this one is really, really easy. And then also underneath here, we're going to have storage and it's also lockable. So if you stop and you want to tie up and go eat lunch or something like that and you want to throw a few valuable things in there, you can put your stuff in here, lock it away, and then take the next step and it kind of hides that door altogether. All right, again, this is Jason Howard at uh, Sunrise Marine in Mary Esther, Florida. Just want to thank you for watching. If you have any other boat models from Chaparral, Roballo, Bennington, Contender, um, any of the boat models that we carry and you want to see a featured video done on it, uh, say it in the comments and we'll make you a featured video so you can see what you're, what you're looking at.